welcome to another Mega Bloks review. I haven't reviewed one of these for a while, and <laughs> reviewed them for so long that they've actually changed the name to Mega Construct. Uh, yes, for more like serious collector lines and stuff, they're calling it Mega Construct. Whereas more kitty baby or self branded lines, they're still keeping it as Mega Bloks, which makes it really confusing. And if you want to get their stuff, you still go to Mega Bloks's website, and it's. Uh, Mega, Mega Brand, what, what what are you doing? Anyway, here's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set based on the um, 2000 and... When did this start? 2015? But, uh, of Ninja Turtles. So that that's cool. It's a very cool show. Uh, I need to catch up. Um, I haven't watched all the space stuff yet. But there we are. Uh, so Mega Blocks, you've been pretty good with boxes until now. This box is tear open and never sealed again. Well done, Mega Blocks. Um, and back that shows you some of the stuff you get in the set as well as features and what characters you get. And it's and the uh, same <clears throat> with uh, tradition of Mega Bloks, the main character is still in his own little plastic thing in the little window. And of course you have the instruction sheet inside. Let me just move this all aside. Right. Very thin instruction sheet because this is a very basic set, very small set. Uh, paper is very thin but feels durable. Parts list right at the front of the page. Of the pages. Um, <clears throat> there's not really any parts guide for Mega Bloks like they do with LEGO right now, so I'm gonna stay on this page a little bit so people can see what Mega Bloks parts there are if they do collect Mega Bloks. I thought we do one. Anyway, uh, so yeah, hey, you can assemble or deassemble your turtle if you want to, and um, basic building guide. Um, let's see, skip to the last page, and um, yep, yeah, they have the tradition of. Uh, that's different from Lego, but they have all, a lot of different languages printed on there. And <clears throat> have a mini comic. Mikey comes in, drops some stuff, knocks the table over, as well as Unikitty and the pizza. And um, some. But Mikey catches the pizza and hugs. Uh, I, did I say Unikitty? I mean Ice Cream Kitty. Okay. So on the back, on the last page here, you have a bunch of other sets from this way, from this line, anyway. And let's see, we have a turtle robot, the turtle layer, some street battle, lots of smaller sets, Triceraton there, that's pretty cool. Some evil layer there, and the uh, turtle van, that's really cool as well. God, I want, I want a lot of stuff. And uh, so far, uh, as of this release, every single uh, figure that they have, or figure variants that they've released under the new Nickelodeon TMT line, and oh, my cool, there's a... Shadow Leo and, and, and a transparent Raphael and oh god I want to run with those. Are they also showing figures of yep, yeah, I got the uh, new version of people box that not don't don't care about that too much. The base set is just a corner of the kitchen, uh the, the fridge doesn't have an opening door, but there's no sticker sheets in this, thank god, and you know it's it's nice that they have a printed piece here, but I do wish this door would actually open. And there's this piece here, which is actually carton of milk, that's nice, and this gets like a grill or something. And you get some uh, soft rubbery rat, uh, soft-ish rats that you have there, and a bunch of, I guess, uh, ooze or sewer, sewage, whatever, uh, because it's a toy set, so it makes it, puts it there, even though it doesn't make sense. And um, a uh, pizza piece, which has a strawberry on it. Let me just zoom in on that. Okay, focus. There you go. Uh, yeah, a bit of strawberry printed on this piece of pizza. If you get enough of these turtles, you will eventually have a full piece of just random stuff. Uh, unfortunately, while minifigures can hold the edge of this because it's got a little bump there, uh, there's no hole or anything for this to plug onto anything, so it just sits anywhere. Uh, so that's a shame. As for as for ice cream kitty, uh, it's made out of a soft rubbery piece. Meow. <laughs> and it's. Um, Pretty cool, it's a pink piece of rubbery plastic and they've just painted bits on him. Uh, so no articulation anything except that he's really wobbly and, wobb um, and, and rubber. Um, you can't just plug him onto any surface, it just doesn't work because he's got too much stuff anyway. Actually no, it kind of works. Yep, no, oh, forget it, it does plug onto studs, that's cool. That's cool. And uh, speaking of studs, uh, that's actually an extra 4x4, four four, no 8x8 eight eight plate. I, I don't know, do they all boxes have an extra piece? But it's just there. And these, as we all know, giant plates are useful for building stuff. So that's great, it comes with two pieces of those. So finally, with uh, Michelangelo, previously I reviewed the uh, classic series Ninja Turtle figurines from Mega Bloks and um, from the, you know, the 90s uh, cartoon. And um, 
those have way more articulation. They were almost like little mega block size SH figures. They had like shoulder and uh, bicep articulation on that. But these guys don't. They just have a standard swivel and peg with the shoulder, which is still good. It's just not as good. The head is still on the ball peg. And you can swap these bandanas if you want and just sort of remove them. Oh, it's going to come off. Yep. And you have nightmare fuel underneath. Um, I do wish they were kind of painted. Then you can have Fio Mikey take a break with, with his bandana off or something. Oh well. And let's see, this is a rubbery strap belt. You can plug the uh, nunchucks in there and there's a peg on the back. Now the classic Ninja Turtle line uh, also has die cast metal for the shells. It makes it much heavier and more solid. But it's, these are just plastic. So you can plug the nunchucks in there and the legs uh, have um, ball peg and a uh, uh, kneecap joints. So that's still cool, I guess. And he has a bit of ice cream spatter on top of him, so because uh, this Mikey from this box is um, a variant, it's not just regular Mikey. So let's uh, see how well he plugs in there. Yep, he plugs very securely into the studs of the plate. So, uh, yeah, not too expensive of a set, and it's got some nice features and nice characters. Um, it's not essential, only get this if you really like Ice Cream Kitty and you just want more versions of Mikey. This uh, this version of Mikey is adorable with that bandana and the, uh, the glittering eyes. That's really cool. So, if you like the new Ninja Turtle series and you like uh, having extra variations of your figure, then this is a pretty decent set to get. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.